I had an epiphany, and it was simply this. Maybe I should ask white people to vote for me too. So I decided that I was going to break through the barriers. I was going to cross the railroad track and ask every person, regardless of color or creed, to vote for Mike Thurman. So my sister and I decided to go out door to door. So the first day out, I knocked on the door, and an elderly, smiling, well-dressed white lady came to the door. She was smiling. I was smiling. My sister was smiling. I said, man, I should have thought of this two elections ago. I'd already... And so we handed the lady my brochure. She was smiling, and she started to read the brochure, and then the smile turned to a frown. And then she looked over, and that was my picture. And the frown turned to a scrawl, and she literally threw it back in our face. She says, I don't care what you all say. I'll never vote for one of them. They lie, they cheat, and they steal. You can't trust them. They're lazy, and there's nothing you can do to get me to vote for one of those people. But my heart, you ever run into something like that? So my heart broke and I turned and walked away just and determined never to come back across these tracks. I'll never come over here again. And I turned around to tell my sister, but my sister was still standing on the porch with the white lady. And she says, hold up, lady. And I said, you know what? We getting ready to go to jail today. And she says, don't you know you can't judge my little baby brother simply by the color of his skin? Lady said, honey, give me this brochure again. She read again. She said, let me tell you something. I don't care what color he is. I'll never vote for a damn lawyer. <laughs> Oftentimes, we don't reach out. We don't build the bridges. We don't create the alliances. We don't create the friendships. Not because what people are thinking is because we, it's what we think they might be thinking. Don't ever, don't ever allow your fears and your ambition to overpower your hope, your dreams, and don't ever give in. Now we must act. Use the hashtag, Let's Bridge. We welcome your donations to the King Center on our Facebook page or dreamforwardfund.org. That's dreamforwardfund.org. We also give special thanks to our sponsor, the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Special thanks to our partner, the Martin Luther King Jr. Advisory Council. Let's bridge young people this summer with Camp Now. For more information, visit us at choosenonviolence.org.